Welcome back, my dudes, to another video on a Popo Gaming. So today we pretty much have a video where I'm showcasing to you guys pretty much the team I'm using right now. Uh, like I have two teams right now, but this is my favorite one, and this is a team that has been thrashing people between Division One, Division Two. So I'm kind of hopping up sometimes. I managed to say in Division One sometimes I get really get back to Division Two. But yeah, I wanted to bring out this sick episode like that. You guys can really see the sort of teams that I advise for you guys to use for uh, tournaments or anyways just using divisions. Now this team is actually really cheap. It's just that pretty much one player takes up one third of the price which is Royce. But anyways he's just so amazing and I highly recommend him. So as you guys seen the team, so in goal we have Leno, just an amazing goalkeeper, really cheap, really advise him. And then for the full backs, we have on left back, probably some of you guys will know him, Wendell. He's like, there's a very high lack of left backs in the Bundesliga, and Alaba is just very expensive. So I just bought for less than 1k, I can get just a cheap Alaba, and he's just amazing. He's got pace, he's got everything. Right back, we have Brzezinski. He's a silver, very fast. I actually really liked him. At the, at the start, I didn't know about him, but then I just realized he was really good. Midfield, we have a very strong and complex like, and balanced midfield, Costa, Gundogan, Vidal. Can't really say much about them, you guys already know. And then the attack, we have Royce, Sherla, and Aubameyang. Now, this attack is unbelievable. Two of them have Porsche skills. Aubameyang is uh, amazingly fast, like just really amazing. So, as you can see here, I, I play Costa and uh, um, center mid because I, I believe that he's a better midfielder than an actual winger. And as you can see here, the pace of Roy is passing it to Obami and Great goal, 1-0. I swear, them two together will score you guys so many goals. It's unbelievable. And here, as, as you'll see now, we capitalize from a uh, goalkeeping error. But also, this shows like the, kind of the pace of Obami. Like, look, he completely sells the defender like, and then just... He has such better finishing compared to last year, and he just puts it up 2-0. He is literally, in my opinion, the best striker in the game. He, his pace just makes him so damn fucking good. And now, as you can see here, I, I want to show you a clip of Rosinski. So as you can see, Sturge is way taller than him, but Rosinski pretty much just saves a goal um, for Moscow team to a header. And as you can, and here there's a clip on another clip on the defending, which is Socrates. Also, highly advise him. Him and Boateng are such an amazing duo. They're just, uh, they're just lovely. So as you can see here, I abuse the pace of Royce. I abuse the pace of Royce. Lags a bit, unfortunately, it's FIFA. But as you can see, hard post. There's Andre Schirle. And if you use the, uh, like, is it like advanced cross, whatever it is, it's like R, R, L1 and cross. You pretty much it gives you more powerful cross and just easy goal by Schirle, which is also not tall. So he's nice to have as a winger, which is score headers. So as you can see, we're three nil up. But this guy, this guy wasn't very good, but he still manages to pull a comeback. But even if he pulled it back, I still wasn't scared of him. So I just felt comfortable. But as you can see now, he kind of scored two like typical uh, FIFA goals this year, which are like one is a near post goal, which somehow he manages to score with Stevie G. And the second one was a long shot. I mean, I can't really say much to them, like. Uh, watching my the video this wasn't very good defending but yeah like it's you can't always defend perfectly and guys like it, the team like you still need to be a good player to play in high division the team will do everything for you so you can see her like from an unbelievable angle but CVG has some amazing shooting so he managed to do that kind of was pissed but I, I felt like still like the guy wasn't at my level and I feel like that was gonna get a comfortable goal lead and just win the game so as you can see the replay I, so I now that I think about it why how the hell did Boateng not I'll strength him like what the hell is he doing so as you can see here again start kickoff I don't know what the fuck I was doing I was kind of fucking around but as a moron I immediately can see the second goal now as min as probably some of you guys know Rooney's got just some unbelievable long shots some really hard to defend and when you give him too much space he just puts them in I can't really couldn't defend it like just GG to him but I need to be more concentrated not losing the ball at the start now here was 3-2 I followed the moment to shift to his side and I was really scared that I actually concede but guys Leno is just an unbelievable goalkeeper I just love him 
he just saves my asses so many times. I would highly advise him, and as you can see here, he probably saved the score because after out of this corner, as you can see, I get the ball back. Surely passes it to Aubameyang, and now I'll, you can see guys here why he's my favorite striker. Outpaces one person, outpaces the second person. Oh, and the third person goes and just easy sweaty. Like, guys, the guy is just amazing. And when you have like such clinical partners like like Shirley and Roy's next to him, you guys will just love it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. The video, the game ended 4-2, and I'm out. Peace.